Yeah, yo, what's going on guys? Seth Spartan here, nutrition training and hormone expert and Prometheus Pro Bodybuilder with Prometheus HRT, the world's best testosterone and hormone replacement clinic. Use my code SPARTAN to save on either testosterone or HGH replacement therapy. Guys, today we're going to be talking about TRT, testosterone replacement therapy. How much test is too much? How much testosterone is too much for testosterone replacement therapy? Guys, uh, let's get in into this, but I want to preface this by saying uh, only you and your doctor uh, can come to a final decision on exactly how much testosterone is too much for you and your needs and also uh, your health needs. Guys, let's go. So I want to throw out here first and foremost uh, the standard testosterone range. So take let's take a look at the standard testosterone range uh, in the U.S. and this is referring to total testosterone level. So standard testosterone range in the U.S. is 300 to 1,200 nanograms per deciliter of total testosterone. So at first glance, 300 to 1,200, that's a huge range, right? So, um, and the reason for this is because the standard U.S. testosterone range is um, going to include everyone from uh, a healthy 18-year-old with good genetics uh, to an elderly 80-year-old man uh, with um, that's suffering from even suffering from low testosterone. So this range, the reason that it's so huge, you know, 1,200 to 300, the standard U.S. range, like I said, other countries, it's, it's going to vary a little bit. Uh, but the reason that this range is so big is because it's gathering it's gathering healthy individuals from you know 18 years old all the way to uh, you know, as old as 80 years old. So it's a big range. All right, let's move into this a little bit more. So now that we know what the, the standard U.S. total testosterone range is, the question is, what is the best dosage? What, how much testosterone is too much? So uh, let's look at my, let's look at uh, my um, endocrinology for a second. So this is my personal endocrinology. So, uh, you know, if I'm up around, you know, uh, if I'm anywhere over uh, 200 pounds, uh, you know, if I'm, we'll just say 220. So me around 220 pounds, uh, this is my standard uh, endocrine profile. So if I am taking, uh, if I'm taking 150 milligrams of testosterone cypionate or anenthate, uh, you know, I've pretty much always been doing cypionate. That's just the, the gold standard in the U.S. And uh, for those of you watching uh, in other countries, Testosterone cypionate is by far the best uh, form of testosterone you can use. Um, and watch my video on why testosterone cypionate is the best testosterone. I go through comparison between testosterone cypionate, anenthate, propionate, and other types. Um, and you know, there's a there's a big point to be made why testosterone cypionate is the gold standard for uh, TRT or HRT. Go watch my video on that. Anyways, let's get into this. So. Uh, me, let's say I'm sitting around 220. I'm, I'm not 220 right now. I'm about 236 right now. So th these numbers are going to be a little bit different. Uh, but me at about 220 pounds. Uh, 150 milligrams of testosterone cypionate will put me at right around uh, 700 total testosterone. As you guys can see here, uh, if I do, if I go up to 200 milligrams, that's what I'm doing right now. 200 milligrams of testosterone cypionate per week. That puts me at right around a thousand total testosterone level. Uh, you know, I'm already doctor approved, doctor prescribed. Uh, you know, I can go up to 250 tomorrow, 250 milligrams tomorrow. I'm healthy as can be. You know, I'm young. Doctor said not a problem. You can go right up to the top of the range. So let's say I go 250 milligrams tomorrow. That's going to put me at right about 1,200 total testosterone level. Uh, so the thing is here, looking at looking at this, just looking at my endocrinology. Um, me personally, it's a little bit less about the numbers and it's a little bit more about how I feel. So uh, when I'm doing 150 milligrams of testosterone, I feel okay. Okay, I feel okay. Um, a little bit lower on the energy side. I still feel fine, you know, able to do normal, uh, normal functioning, normal male functioning. 150 milligrams, you know, basically uh, is, uh, is, uh, satisfactory okay it's gonna it's gonna cut the buck so to speak but the thing is i noticed guys at 150 milligrams of testosterone putting me at 700 uh 
total testosterone. It's just not enough to build uh, to, it's not enough to um, maximize or efficiently build muscle. I'm just going to be dead honest. 700, 700 total testosterone, just, it's, it's just not, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to recover as well as I should. I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to sleep as well. I don't sleep as well on 700 as I do on a thousand total testosterone. Uh, and it's just, it's, it's, you can do it. It's satisfactory, but it's just not, it's not, you're not able to maximize. I'm just going to be dead honest with you guys. So if your doctor or hormone replacement clinic, you know, is at 150, I would consider, you know, doing, uh, doing 200 milligrams or 250 milligrams, um, as long as you're healthy and everything is good to go. Uh, and if your clinic, you know, for some reason won't do that, go ahead and uh, go to prometheushrt.com. That's the hormone, uh, it's my hormone replacement clinic. And, uh, you know, you can, uh, they'll contact your clinic, send, have them send all the stuff over and they'll get you to where you want to be. Again, assuming you're healthy, because this has to be, you know, health has to be uh, uh, number one. If you're, if you're unhealthy, uh, if you're really unhealthy or you've got heart problems, you know, 250 milligrams of testosterone, uh, it, it can be, we're, we're going to get into this in a second. It can be a little bit more of s initial stress on your heart just because your heart has to, has to, um, become adapted or build up to the increased metabolic demand from testosterone going up. So anyways, so 700 total testosterone, that's me taking about 150 milligrams a week. Uh, and what I'm doing right now, guys, I'm doing 200 milligrams of testosterone cypionate right now per week. And that puts me at right about a thousand, you know, this is where I feel, okay, I feel good. This is, this is where I feel, uh, you know, arguably could be argued that, but this is pretty much where I feel, um, not my, my highest performance, but this is where I feel my best is right around a thousand probably. So it's about 200 milligrams of testosterone a week or 2000 milligrams, 200 milligrams of testosterone a week. Uh, and this is where I'm at right now. And, uh, some of you guys watching this video are saying, well, you know, you're young, you're healthy. Why don't you go to uh, 250 milligrams and bump up to the very tip top of the range? Um, well, the reason for that, guys, is that, you know, you know, I've, I've been through the ringer. I've been around the loop. Uh, and the thing is, the take home is, guys, is that, you know, if I don't need to, what's the point? I'm still gr I'm still growing great right now. Uh, you know, I just benched 335 uh, pounds. I think it was like 10 times a couple days ago. So I'm still building muscle on 200 milligrams. I'm still building muscle. I'm still getting leaner, uh, and I'm, you know, I'm still, I'm still going, I'm still going good on just 200 milligrams. So, if I'm growing fine, what's the point in bumping the dosage and just increasing the rate of desensitization? There's no point. Okay, so you know, I'm more conservative, and arguably that's the better option because why, why go up if you don't need to? You know, you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot. Um, anyways, so uh, let's see here. Yeah, so that's what I'm at right now, 200 milligrams. Uh, you know, am I going to go to 250? Uh, I'm going to say, yeah, I'll probably go to 250. Uh, you know, once once I kind of tap out, you know, once I'm, you know, at 200, uh, once I once I hit kind of a peak, okay, I'm not getting any bigger, I'm not getting any leaner. Uh, if, if, you know, I'm not happy where I'm at right there, which is more than likely, we'll go 250, which is only a slight bump higher. And obviously, I'll get a little bit bigger, a little bit leaner. Uh, but you know, I really don't see the need, you know, where I'm at, uh, again, you know, I'm 236, 237 right now. And, uh, you know, decently big, decently lean, feel great, look good. Uh, and I'm strong. So it's kind of like, it's kind of a mute point, uh, to, for me, you know, like I said, I'm doing 200 right now, but I don't see a point in really going above 200, uh, you know, 250 milligrams, uh, testosterone a week. And if we're talking TRT, let's go back to TRT. Let's end this video. In terms of testosterone replacement therapy, in terms of just testosterone, okay? Uh, this is not taking into consideration HGH replacement or anything else. But in regards to just testosterone, how much is too much? Really, guys, here's the bottom line. Based on the most recent research we have in medical studies uh, and the collective knowledge we have, more, more testosterone is good for increasing performance, well-being, uh, male libido, uh, you know, masculinity, all of that, you know, confidence, it goes up the higher the testosterone dosage. So in terms of performance, confidence, uh, athletic ability, fat burning, everything, the higher dosage, 250 milligrams per week, 
is going to be better, you know, 250 milligrams. However, in studies in older men, and you can talk to the, the physicians at Prometheus HRT about this, but according to studies in older men, if let's say you're, you know, let's say you're 50, 60, even 70 years old, and you go from, you know, let's say your testosterone level is 400, and they give you 250 right away. Uh, you know, what they notice is that some of these men uh, actually have um, non-deadly heart attacks from boosting up their testosterone to the top of the range. Uh, why? Why? It's just because testos testosterone is the male powerful driving hormone that basically regulates, uh, you know, strength, metabolism, muscle mass, a, a myriad of, a, of effects in the male body. Um, so testosterone, once that hormone is increased, yes, you get all the benefits we talked about, but it's going to be harder uh, on your body uh, metabolically just because the, the hormone is going to bind to all these different receptor sites and your body's going to say grow muscle, get stronger, get faster. So it takes, it's more demanding, okay? It's more demanding on your body. So if you're, you know, 50, 60, 70 years old and you've got a 400 uh, level of testosterone, you've been there for 10 years and, you know, your doctor gives you 250 milligrams uh, without slowly tapering you up. Uh, you know, there's quite a few men that can suffer heart attacks from that just because their body's not used to it. This huge increase, the heart has to get stronger, the heart has to beat faster, but most of these people are not in very good shape to begin with. So, you know, how much is too much? Uh, it depends on your age, depends on how healthy you are. Uh, for me, how much is too much? Again, me being, you know, a healthy 26 year old, uh, you know, 250 milligrams in terms of longevity, you know, in terms of health and longevity, uh, anything over 250 milligrams continuously, you know, uh, my doctor and I are on the same page. Uh, that would that would be arguably too much for long term. Having said that, I have talked to uh, various doctors and they say, you know, they said if I really wanted to, if I was training for a hard competition, I could go up to 500 milligrams and that would be fine. Uh, short term, you know, six months or so, I'm healthy, that's not a big deal. Except you don't want to stay there uh, long term just because of some issues like, you know, if you do that long term, you can have an enlarged heart wall uh, or you can you can speed up plaque building in the arteries. Uh, but anyways, guys, um, in terms of, you know, how much is too much, the older you get, the less healthy you are in terms of cardiovascular health, older you get, uh, how healthy you are in terms of cardiovascular health and labs, uh, you know, you don't want to be pushing the testosterone as high just because it's more metabolically taxing on your system. So guys, stay safe, stay healthy, check with your doctor on whatever you're doing, or if you need a new clinic, uh, you know, go ahead and uh, transfer to Prometheus HRT. It should probably only take you 10, 15 minutes online, then they'll, you know, contact your clinic. Otherwise, if you need testosterone or HGH replacement therapy, Again, Prometheus HRT, arguably the best testosterone and hormone replacement clinic uh, in the U.S. Guys, stay safe, stay healthy. Uh, you know, talk to your doctor about all this stuff. You know, most, you know, uh, I would advise everyone out there, you know, you should have a good working relationship with your doctor where, you know, uh, you know, he listens to you, but he's also giving you, you know, pushback on certain things. Okay, you know, let's try this. Let's do this. Uh, I think this would be safer. So it should be, it should always be a two way street because you got to remember that, you know, you're the patient and he's really there to help you uh, feel better and also uh, maximize health and longevity. Seth Spartan, stay safe, stay healthy. Testosterone hormone, testosterone replacement therapy, how much is too much? Uh, guys, hope we answered your question and we are out of here.